Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'm out here uh, trying to find some sandhill cranes and hopefully, um, kind of got it in my mind today, hopefully I'm going to be starting a little project with them and just putting together a lot of footage and uh, trying to make a little video out of it. So I just pulled up here. On the way here though, I stopped and filmed one from the road. And that was a uh, nice experience. They just arrived here probably about a week ago, a week and a half ago maybe. And so it's a great time of year. They start uh, acting up, getting crazy, uh, chasing each other, having babies. It's a lot of fun. So hopefully I make a little video out of this. And uh, right now I'm just gonna be showing you what I get today and having you tag along. So I just filmed that little intro. Open up my door, first thing I hear is sandal cranes, so we're on the right track. <laughs> I got out of my car and I could still hear the sandal cranes as if they were flying right over me. However, when I looked up, all I saw was this bald eagle floating along, and then once it passed in front of a couple of dots, I realized that the sandal cranes were way, way, way up there. And this was shot with my telephoto lens, 900 millimeters effective, still just a dot on the screen. I'm just surrounded by St. Hill Cranes. They're all just calling everywhere around me. And geese. <laughs> but I just can't get enough of their calls. It's amazing. Just had a classic problem <laughs> to have. It's a great problem. Couldn't figure out which to follow, either Northern Harrier or otherwise there was a sandhill crane right in the middle of landing and it was landing all slow just because of the wind here and could only pick one. <laughs> I went with the Northern Harrier just because I have not got any footage of them yet and so it's too good to pass up. And I'm hoping for many more opportunities with the cranes so Korean, we'll have to wait, but I got a okay shot of the <laughs> Northern Harrier. Woo. All right, finished up the first day of filming, and uh, not too bad. Got to see plenty of sandhill cranes taking off, landing, 
Um, I don't know why I said taking off because I didn't see any taking off except for one pair. Uh, mostly landing. Uh, but yeah, that's a wrap. I'm exhausted. Carrying around heavy camera gear. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go check out my. I don't know why I call it my owl spot, but where I saw a great horned owl. It's just down the road. We'll see how that goes. And there's also a couple of sandhill cranes that have been landing there and probably spend the night there. There's a little pond. Check that out as well. But uh, yeah, this will do it. So thank you for coming along and I'll uh, keep at it and I'll fill you in on what's going on in the later times. So bye bye. Well, that's a great way to cap off the day. Never expected it, but got a great horn owl right outside my window. <laughs> so cool.